You only have a few moments to capture the attention of your audience. Once you have their attention, how do you keep it? Enter the lead magnet. A lead magnet is your secret weapon to grabbing the attention of your audience with a value-packed free offer that they cannot ignore. And you want to keep their attention by nurturing that relationship. But how do you create a lead magnet that resonates? It's really a combination of things, including an offer that is irresistible, packaged with compelling messaging, a beautiful design, and a call to action that you want them to take. So today, let's dig into the blueprint for crafting a lead magnet that not only embodies your brand, but resonates with your audience, supercharging that relationship and sending your audience on a journey that ends in conversion. Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. I'm your host, Jenny Lyon, and today I'm excited to jump into how to create a core lead magnet that your audience simply cannot ignore. A lead magnet is a valuable piece of content that you offer in exchange for your contacts information. So what's the catch? Well, your lead magnet has to be so irresistible that your audience simply cannot ignore it. And a lead magnet can take many different forms. It could be an ebook, a checklist, a workbook, a blueprint, a webinar. It could even be a free trial of your product or service. But the key is really that it must provide value to your audience. It needs to solve a problem that they're having today, and you need to provide them with the roadmap on how to do so. So in essence, your lead magnet is a trade. You're trading your valuable content in exchange for the opportunity to communicate with your audience where they hang out the most, their inbox. But why are lead magnets so important? Well, that answer really lies in the power of email marketing. Email marketing is still one of the most effective ways to reach your audience. You get to communicate with them, again, where they're at all the time, their inbox, and In order to do email marketing, you have to have an email list, and to build an email list, you need a lead magnet. So that's why it's so important. And a well-crafted lead magnet can really help you grow your list rapidly. It can attract a large number of leads, and those people are already interested in your products or services, so they'll become more likely to become a paying customer if your lead magnet wows them. But before you can create a lead magnet, you really have to understand who you're creating the lead magnet for. Your target audience is the most important factor. They are the people who are going to be most likely to engage with that lead magnet and potentially purchase your products or services. So we want it to be very valuable and created just for them. That's why understanding your target audience is so important. You need to know what they want, what they need, and what problems they're trying to solve. This information will allow you to create a lead magnet that your audience simply can ignore. But the first step is really understanding your audience's pain points. You have to understand not only who your audience is, but what problems or challenges are they facing. Your lead magnet really needs to offer a solution to one, just one of those pain points. It really needs to provide the information and resources that they need to overcome that particular challenge. So for example, if your business is like mine and your target audience is small business owners, one of their pain points might be finding time to market their business. A lead magnet that would be very valuable to them would be a lead magnet that includes quick and easy marketing strategies that they can implement into their business today that will move them closer to their goals. That type of lead magnet would be very appealing to my target audience. But what if you have an audience that has a variety of pain points or you have an audience that has a variety of ICAs? This is where segmentation comes in. When you segment your audience, that's the process of dividing your audience into smaller groups based on very specific criteria. So it could be anything from their demographics to their behavior patterns to specific needs or interests that they have. 
When you segment the list, you can create personalized lead magnets for each of those groups. This will increase the relevance and the value of your lead magnet, making, again, it completely irresistible for them. So for my business, this is very much true in that I have many different ICAs and I also have many different services. So I segment my list based on what my audience wants. So if I have a a potential client that's interested in social media marketing, I have a social media workbook. That is my lead magnet. It provides them with a workbook to work through to decide which social media platforms they should be on for their business. That moves them into my social media marketing funnel where we continue to nurture them. It's very personalized to the problem that they're having marketing successfully on social media. And it significantly has increased our conversion rates when it comes to selling social media packages. Well, there are many different types of lead magnets that you can create. There are some that are very simple. There are some that are more complex. And to decide which one you want to offer really is based on who your audience is. You want to make sure that you really consider your audience when deciding which type of format to go with. You know, so things like ebooks, checklists, webinars, quizzes, those are all very very popular types of lead magnets right now. We do a lot of ebooks if our client has specific information that's really in depth on a particular subject. Um, those can be very beneficial for B2B businesses or businesses that um, really have a focus on education, where education is really important. Where things like checklists and workbooks, those are very quick and easy to consume. So they're really great for audiences who want a simple and actionable guide to solve a particular problem. Um, webinars are another type of lead magnet that we create a lot of, and they're an interactive experience. They allow you to interact with your audience in real time. You get to answer their questions. They get to see you and get to know you. It's a very personalized experience. You can also look at quizzes. We create a lot of quizzes and calculators. Again, very fun and engaging. They provide very valuable insights into your audience's needs and preferences, which can be very valuable if they're not quite sure what they need and you have a lot of different products or services that they could potentially purchase. Um, we do calculators a lot for mortgage companies. We do a lot of ROI calculators, those type of things. Um, the difference here is that interactive type lead magnets can be more time intensive to create, where something like a checklist or a workbook can be really quick and easy to consume. The difference not only lies with your audience, but also with the value, right? So if your audience really needs that in-depth information from you, then something like a quiz or a webinar is really going to work for you. If you have a product or service that can easily be explained and you can help them very quickly with a checklist or a workbook, that can be a great jumping off point for you. Um, creating a lead magnet does include a lot of different steps. Um, you want to start by brainstorming your ideas. So really sit down and decide what type of topics would be interesting to your audience and then validating that lead magnet idea. So first things first, if you want to hit pause, grab a piece of paper and a pen and divide it into three columns. And in one column, write down as many pain points as you can possibly think of that your ideal client has. In column number two, write down as many different services or products that you have that will solve those particular pain points. And then in column number three, consider the different types of format. You know, is this type of content going to resonate most if it's in the form of a quiz? Is this something where people really are going to need to interact with you? A webinar might be a good option. Is this something that someone can do as easy as one, two, three? They just need to know how to do it. Maybe a checklist or a blueprint is going to be your best bet. But once you have the lead magnet idea nailed down, you want to create a compelling value proposition around it. 
a value proposition is simply a statement that explains why your audience would sign up for your lead magnet. You want your value proposition to be very clear, concise, and compelling. You need to highlight the benefits that your lead magnet has and why it's worth them signing up for. So a strong value proposition can really be the difference between a lead magnet that gets ignored and one that gets thousands of signups. Once you have that, then the next step is to look at the design and writing the content for the lead magnet. So you want to keep your lead magnet very simple and easy to understand. You can be in depth, but it has to be simple and easy to understand. I like to include visuals or videos where I can to really complement and enhance the content. And of course, you want to make it actionable. You want it to be something that your audience can literally put into place in their business today or very quickly and make it happen. You know, they they download the lead magnet, they read it, they go through it, they put it into place, they do all the actionable items and they see success. That's what we want. Once you have that lead magnet that you know your audience is absolutely going to love, then it's time to get it on a landing page. So a landing page is where you're going to put all the information about your lead magnet. That way you have a link for it that you can share through social media, through your content that someone can click on. They come through to the landing page and they can opt in. You do want to ensure that your lead magnet landing page is optimized. So you want to optimize it for things like your headline, your copy, the design, and the call to action. And each of these items are really important in convincing your audience that they absolutely need this offer. So that headline is going to be the first thing that they see. It needs to hook them. It needs to grab their attention. It has to make them want to learn more. So that should be followed by copy that is very clear and concise. Your copy should highlight the benefits, why someone would want to sign up for it, what the transformation at the end of completing the lead magnet would look like, and it needs to be designed in a really clean and easy navigational way. It needs to be something that someone understands, that someone can sign up for immediately with a very, very clear call to action that prompts them to sign up. Once you have the landing page live, you want to monitor its performance, right? And you can do that a lot of different ways. One of the ways that I always do it is to see how many people are signing up for it, right? If you start to see that you're getting a ton of people signing up for it, then you've probably hit lead magnet gold. If you see a lot of people are coming to your landing page, but they aren't converting, then that's time to kind of go back and look. You might want to test different headlines. You might want to try either shorter copy or longer copy. Maybe the design is just a little too much and they're not quite certain where to go or the call to action isn't strong enough. So you want to tweak those things. Once you do get the lead magnet to a point where it is converting, people are not only landing on the landing page, but they're opting in, then you'll want to start to promote it everywhere. So you want to send it out through social media, through all of your content. You can even send it out to your email list. If they haven't opted into it previously, you could show them, hey, I created this for you as a gift, or you could send it to them and ask them to share it with their friends and family, whatever you need to do. But once that lead magnet is live, it's being promoted, it's starting to convert, you know, then I always like to ask for feedback from my audience. So at first, when I launch a lead magnet to several people that opt in, you know, probably the first couple of dozen people to opt in, I will reach out to them with a follow up email, just asking for feedback, just asking them, you know, why they signed up, what did they find valuable? Did they feel like it supported them where they were at? Did they get a quick win from it? You know, I ask them really in-depth questions. I'll also do this through social media, polls, surveys, that type of thing, because that feedback can really help you to really fine tune that lead magnet so that it becomes more and more valuable to the next people that opt into it. Now, there are some common pitfalls when it comes to creating your lead magnet that I think you should be aware of. So one of them that I see a lot, especially when clients come to us who already have a lead magnet, but it isn't converting, these are usually the reasons why. Number one, it doesn't provide enough value. Um, I've seen lead magnets that are very, very simple to the point where I could see the audience opting in and then having like, you know, 
opt-in remorse that, oh my gosh, I gave my email address away for this. I already knew this. This isn't helpful. And then on the flip side, we have a lot of clients that come that their lead magnets are way too involved. We had a client recently who had a 64-page workbook. The workbook was incredible, but it was way too much for someone who was just kind of jumping off, and it was overwhelming. So while when we did survey the audience, a lot of them said, you know, it's it's an incredible lead magnet, but it's too advanced for me. It's kind of going over my head, and I just kind of needed to know where to start, and this is kind of an overall plan. So in that case, we just helped the client to kind of narrow down the lead magnet to focus on one, just one quick win, and then we pulled out everything else to be a part of the program that she was trying to sell. And then, um, you know, if it's too simple, again, just the opposite. You want to make sure that it provides value. But either way, once you do have that lead magnet, it's converting, your audience loves it, they get into your funnel, you're nurturing them. You really want to revisit your lead magnets on a regular basis. You want to make sure that the content remains relevant and valuable over time because information changes, trends change, industry changes. You would be surprised that a lead magnet that was even created a year ago could be obsolete now. So make sure that you're regularly updating your lead magnet to ensure that everything is current and that your audience is still going to find it valuable. So just keep your finger on the pulse of that. But as we look to the future, it's very clear that lead magnets will continue to play a really critical role in your online marketing. They are still a really powerful tool for attracting and converting leads. And I think that their importance will only grow as competition in this online space grows. So to stay ahead, it's really important to keep your eye on emerging trends. You know, so for example, right now, interactive content is very popular. So if you don't have a quiz or a calculator or a webinar, now would be the time to implement one of those as a lead magnet. And creating a successful lead magnet does require time. It requires understanding your audience. You want to ensure that you're choosing the right type of lead magnet. You're creating really valuable content that resonates with your audience and that you're promoting it effectively. And it can take time and some effort, but the rewards are definitely worth it. So if you're still struggling with your audience, jump over to jennylioncom forward slash ICA, download our ICA template. You want to make sure that you understand who you're creating the lead magnet for before you ever even start to create that lead magnet. And then jump over to jennylioncom forward slash lead magnet to download our core lead magnet workbook. It's a blueprint and a workbook that is a companion piece to this podcast. It will guide you through the lead magnet creation process. And of course, if you need help with creating a lead magnet, or maybe you have a lead magnet that isn't converting and you want someone to audit it, take a look at it, help you to get it converting, we're here for you. That is what we do. I have experts in lead generation, in lead magnets. We have an entire team where that's all they do is lead magnets. So we would love to hop on a call with you and see what we can do to get your lead magnet out into the world or converting. And you can always do so at jennylioncom forward slash chat with Jenny. We would absolutely love to help. And of course, we hope that you found this information on how to create a core lead magnet that your audience simply can ignore helpful. And I'll see you next time on another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. See you soon.